guys so i know this video is off schedule but i didn't want this to be a main video i just wanted to let you know about this thing that's going around and bring your attention to it and make sure you don't fall for this and lose all your money essentially there seems to be a rise in people pretending like they can invest your money for you and make money on your behalf and it is just mind-boggling so action fraud in the uk actually released a statement on the 11th of august talking about this and you can see it here it says 164 people lost 350 thousand pounds that's basically an average of just over £2,000 per person. Now they talk about Instagram in particular, but this can happen on all the platforms. For example, I get a lot of comments like this. And honestly, I can't tell you how much time I spend making blocked words and deleting these comments and reporting these comments, but they're just bots. And sometimes they even like have a conversation between the bots, it's really bizarre but they try to claim like, oh my God, this person saved me and oh my God, this person made me loads of money. Email them at this account or whatever. Or you get like Instagram accounts that I've seen before and if I manage to find any others before I post this, I'll insert the screenshots here. But basically Instagram accounts that they refer to where people just say things like, you know, 100% guaranteed, we're gonna make you money, there's no risk in this, we're gonna trade Forex, all this kind of stuff. Just please, please don't fall for this. Do not send anyone your money. Doing things like Forex trading and CFDs trading and options trading, there is so much risk in it. Please don't trust people who tell you that there's no risk or just generally people that ask you to send them money. Just go with well-known brokerages and platforms and you know, please just protect your money. I've said please a lot, but I just don't want you to fall victim to these scams and then get put off investing and making a better future for yourself so on the article they've said that either people approach the victims on social media or people on social media approach them so they'll have all these fancy accounts pretending like they make loads of money and then people approach them and say can you help me and then they claim to only require a small initial investment that they would turn into loads of money and then you see here they say in reality once the initial investment has been transferred the victim is given a series of excuses as to why their money and profits cannot be returned unless more money is sent eventually all contact is severed and the victim is blocked by the suspect they are usually requested to send the money by bank transfer or through cryptocurrency platform which means it's nearly impossible to retrieve in terms of the signs that they say to look out for which again is really important you've got unsolicited offers so where they promote investment opportunities via social media promising large amounts for small upfront fees investment opportunities don't be rushed no real organization is going to rush you into making a decision seek advice first speak to people about it you know your trusted friends family members if something feels a bit too good to be true it probably is and finally the most important thing is to use the financial conduct authorities register if you do deal with any firms or individuals that aren't on the fca register you're not protected now there's another article that they posted on the 16th of july and this was actually it was a similar thing but it said that friends and family are unknowingly recruiting victims to fraud this is basically recruiting people to MLM type schemes when it comes to finance. With this one, the losses are far, far greater. So you've got reported losses of 2.1 million between 101 people. Do you know what that amounts to? That's £20,000 per person that's lost to these scams. And you're less likely to be vigilant because it's someone you trust. It's a friend, it's a family member telling you this is great, you should join. And you just don't question it as much. And it's, oh, it just makes me so angry. This is the most important aspect of this. You'll see here it says, the fraudsters perpetrating the scheme will sometimes pay some of the victims a little money as a way to convince them that this is legitimate and to incentivize them to recruit other victims. So just because you've made money off a scheme does not mean it's legit. They will often produce authentic looking materials. So again, don't be fooled by fancy glossy materials. And they provide fictitious online trading accounts. This is really, really important as well. Again, the advice here is similar to what I've said before, but just be really vigilant. These are massively on the, on the rise. I'm seeing so many social media accounts. I'm seeing so many bots on even my own videos. And it's just awful really, because they are taking advantage of people who may be in financial hardship as well. 
not that you know it's good to take advantage of people who aren't but it just makes it that much worse anyway that's it for this video hopefully it will stop at least a few people from falling victim to these scams and i'll see you in the regular scheduled programming bye